demonstrate the trend tool within Unity, we have a sine wave generator and a discrete output that comes on when the sine wave is above a certain value. Under the two Tools menu, we have a trending tool. Right-click to add a variable. We'll use the output of the sine wave generator, and I will start the recording. Do I want to save it while it's recording? No. Right-click, I can resize the window so I can see the sine wave being generated. I can select any variable within the Unity database. So I can stop my recording. I can go to my functional analysis. I can do analysis within the Unity tool. Or I can right click, select all, right click, copy. I can open Excel and I can paste the values in here. If I s delete the header, start time, I can select my two columns which are time date stamped in the value. I can insert a chart. The chart has the current time and it has the value. So let's go back to Unity. I will stop my recording. I will go back to my trend tool. I will add the discrete output which will come on when the sine wave is above a certain value. And I've got my discrete. I will right click and I will display the trend curve. I'm going to resize this so that we can see everything. And I will start my recording. Do I want to keep the old record? No. And I don't need to automatically save. And we'll start the recording. So our sine wave is being generated. Our discrete is being monitored. And we're also monitoring the time that we're above a certain value in the sine wave. Now we have just touched the surface of the trending tool within Unity. The help is fantastic. So if you have any questions, you can look at the help and learn all you want.